Blessed greetings, everyone. Abby and I appreciate y'all joining us, and I pray that you are blessed and you find the favor of God knowing that He is available to you. We want to look at this subject, a glimpse of glory, a glimpse of glory, looking at Acts 7. Let us pray. Father dear God, I just thank you and I just praise you that you are awesome and amazing all at once. And you give us glimpse in life, even though we don't understand it all. We thank you for that as you give us, as we walk in this pace you've given us. Thank you for the glimpse that have made passing from this world to the next even better. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm thinking about my dear friend and mentor, Deacon Henry Robinson. Remember Robbie? I do. From Unity Baptist Church in Las Vegas. He's a good friend. Good mentor. Military man gave me good advice. Back a few years ago, we went to his homegoing ceremony, celebration of his life. And one of the things, the stories that they told was they had placed tubes in him and he was coming back to life. So they was, ta they was taking all the tubes out. Then after they had them all out, he had another change of condition. His body was convulsing and everything, and they was wanting to put the tubes back in him. He says, no, you cannot put the tubes back in me. I've seen where I'm going. I don't want any more tubes in me. And he passed away. I believe he saw a glimpse of glory. Amen. I remember when my mother was staying with her, with us, and she had been in a bad car accident and badly burned. And she lived many years after that. But now it's coming to our final stages. And I was in the bed. It was late. At, we was late at night. I heard her upstairs talking to somebody. I'm going, who is this? And so I came and she scared me because she was at the, near the end of the stairwell. And she normally doesn't do that. And so I was afraid, and she was calling off. She was calling off people names who I knew. Then she started calling off people names I didn't know, mm -hmm. and she was up there just looking up into heaven. Mm -hmm. The next day, I called my aunt Dorothy, and I asked her who was that man's name that she called out. She said that was one of our baby brothers. He did not live. He was stillborn. Huh. And then that gave me the greatest peace that I knew my mother was sick and she was leaving, but I knew she was going to heaven. And it matters when you can get a glimpse of glory so you can keep on going with the things that God has given you. And I remembered that when Mama Rose, your wife, your mother, we went down there to see her near the end of her life. She was singing, and these songs were just coming out so beautiful and so melodious. Oh, that was really good. But I knew. I just could feel that this was one of her last moments here. And though I loved her, I was so happy for her that she knew where she was going because she had seen a glimpse of glory. I want to look at that same thought in Acts 7 with Stephen when he's martyred. Verse 54, Acts 7, 54. When they heard these things, they were about, they were cut to the heart and they gashed at him with their teeth. They was upset at what this man had said to them. What did he say to them? Go to verse 51. He gave them some truth. He says, you stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears. They weren't listening to God's word. You always resist the Holy Spirit as your father did, so did you. So he's telling them they came up and they was raised up in a way that they're doing the things that are wrong. He says, which of the prophets did your father not persecute? And they killed those who foretold the coming of the just one, of whom you now have become the betrayers and murderers, who have received the law by the direction of the angels and have not kept it. God gave their forefathers the truth. He gave them the lie. He gave them the way, but they did not. And now Stephen is telling them about that. And they're upset with him. And as they're upset with him, he was still filled with the Holy Spirit. And he saw a glimpse. Let's look at what he saw. Verse 55. But he being full of the Holy Spirit, this is Stephen, glazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. 
and said, look, I see the heavens open and the son of man standing at the right hand of God. Look at Stephen. He's got a glimpse. He's got a testimony and he's sharing them some really good news. Don't you think they ought to receive that? They should. They should, but they didn't. Everybody won't always receive your good news. But ours is not to make anybody believe. Ours is to share. Verse 37 says, then they cried out with a loud voice, stopped up their ears. They didn't want to hear his message and ran at him with one accord, all of them at one time, running against this man bound. And they cast him out of the city and they stoned him because it would have made their city sinful if they had died in the city. But they took him outside the city gates. And the witness laid down their cloth at his feet of a young man named Saul. This is Paul. And this affected his life and his ministry. Verse 59, and they stoned Stephen, and as he was calling on God, saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. He knew he was leaving here. He was suffering, but he was suffering for righteousness sake. Then in verse 60, it says, he knelt down and cried out with a loud voice. Oh, my Lord. Lord, do not charge them with this sin. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. He didn't want them to be charged with taking his life. They had done wrong. Reminds me of Jesus the Christ who died for us. And he was giving them truth and they weren't willing to accept it. But here's what I understand. That when you get a glimpse of glory, you can go beyond what this world expects of you to the greatness God has placed in you. I leave you with these thoughts. First is death our greatest enemy was defeated by Christ in his resurrection. Look at 1 Corinthians 15, 56, and it'll give you that great truth. Number two, seeing Jesus gives strength past all we can ever face in this world. In this pandemic, look up and see what's good. Look up and see what's even the greatest and where Jesus Christ is and what he's doing for us. Number three, a true glimpse of glory with Jesus and power to face any challenge on this earth, no matter the size, and we'll get victory. Number four, God's visions are true and they comfort the saints. If people don't want to listen, you can't make them listen. Yours is to tell them the truth with love, grace, and mercy. Number six, only the grace of God can change the hearts of men. I have told couples many times, stop trying to change your spouse. You can't change your spouse. You can try all you want to, but you can't change me. <laughs> but understand, only the grace of God can change us. So I ask you, serve like Stephen to be welcomed home by Jesus. Amen. Good. So you, you just told us how Stephen got a glimpse of, of glory when he was, right before he was going to be stoned, he saw Jesus standing at the throne of, of, of God. And I awesome. also think of Isaiah in Isaiah 6, 1 through 6. He said that he saw the Lord high and lifted up and the angels was praising him saying, holy, 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 Lord God almighty. And he said, your glory fills the earth. And Isaiah was like in awe of all of this. And he said, Oh, but woe is me. I'm a man of unclean lips and I live among a people of unclean lips. And mm -hmm. he said, and I have seen the Lord God Almighty, the King. Yes. So here he was to seeing the goodness and the glory <laughs> of God and the purity of God. And then he comparing that to himself, mm -hmm. who is unclean. And so I also go to Moses and Moses saw the glory of God and he says, God, can I see your glory? And God says, if you see my face, you can't live, but I can show you the backside of me. And so he put him in the rock. He hit him in the rock and put his hand over his face. Mm -hmm. And he says, when he passed, the word said that when he passed by Moses, he took his hand from his eyes and Moses saw the backside of him. Now, I love the, what happened to Moses when he came down out of that mountain. How he, The Bible said he was shining. And I would think like to think that if I ever get the get the opportunity to see the glory of God I want to shine like Moses because mm -hmm. I want to reflect what I have seen in the Savior in God I want to reflect his compassion and and his goodness and his kindness and his love towards all of us it is awesome 
I would imagine, to see the glory of, of God. And what I want to do, even if I don't get to see it on this side, I still want to reflect all of it. I want to shine like Moses. I want people to see that I have been with, with God. Amen. And you know, the things that we see in life sometimes, we don't always get it that moment, mm -hmm. but it all comes together with God's grace. But I think about what John wrote. How, with all that suffering he wanted, he wrote the book of Revelation. What kind of great glimpses did he see? Yes. I bet, you know, I bet he didn't even write half or only a small portion of what he saw. But he saw the goodness and the glory. And I always think about that river that he wrote about and about the throne of God. How awesome is it to get a glimpse of the glory of God? Pray. Father, I just praise you and I thank you, Father. And I just look forward to getting that whole view of you, Lord. And just to just to worship you in your kingdom, Father. I just bless you and I praise you for all that you do. You're so awesome, Lord. You're so wonderful and so good. And I love you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm.